Welcome to the Amsterdam International Community School, Campus Southeast. My name is Veronica Kleipel, I'm Head of Secondary School. We offer primary program, middle years program and in a few years also the diploma program which will make us an IB World School. This location is unique, it's brand new, it's in a parky area, it's full of space here and green. We would like to invite you in and we will show you around so that you can get to know us, our kids and our building. I'm the caretaker here at ASAT East. This building is unique for its light. It's very bright and clear. And there's also plenty of space. I think the natural light is helping the children to learn better. It's a more pleasant way of being in a classroom and uh, I think it helps a lot. Learning is at the heart of everything we do at ACE. We say yes to diversity because at our school there's so many different nationalities and cultures. At our school we liaise with the community. We also always are looking for inquiry, sustainability and integrity. I'm a group two teacher at the Southeast ACE location. A lot of my lessons are led by the kids. Um, we have an inquiry-based curriculum, so uh, it's really different than a lot of other curriculums where you're just sitting there and teaching the kids facts. You're learning facts, but you're also learning about really interesting topics. Um, right now we're learning about bugs and the kids are really interested in it. I'm a group seven class teacher. Here we encourage the learners to ask questions, to really take ownership of what, they, what they're learning, to just inquire about different things. And here the teacher actually takes more of a role as a facilitator rather than standing in front and lecturing. The kids ask a lot of questions. We try to have engaging activities um, and the kids kind of lead the learning. So if they have a question, we'll, kind of, we'll explore it more with them. How teachers and students work together here is that we really facilitate them along the journey of, of inquiry. They'll have a topic and they would have to then research what they need to find and trying to generate questions on their own to find out about the world around them. We design lessons and then we adapt them as the kids uh, give us more ideas and ask questions. I'm the primary and secondary PE teacher. Normally little gym is inside, but since the weather is that good, I like to take them outside and do gym out here. The school is also offering dance classes. With those uh, dance uh, classes, they learn how to move. Also, they learn more about the emotion and also about the well-being of each other, seeing from how they move. Now, first of all, we start with small games. And then we offer a lot of social games wherein they have to work together with each other, have to observe each other uh, and have to work together basically to uh, find their goal. And that can be uh, from throwing to each other, help giving each other tips. It's all about learning together. For the secondary we offer gym classes next to the Young Cruijff Stadium. Since we got a lot of materials for our disposal, we can play a lot of games over there that fit the curriculum for the PYP program. We are now between the primary and the secondary department. At ACE you can follow the whole learning journey from primary up to the IB diploma, which we call a continuous curriculum. 
When a student enters a long the year and he has no English, we can give him an English immersion course. Also, all our students learn Dutch because we want them to be part of the Dutch community. I am a maths teacher and uh, I am the mentor of uh, MYP4. The home room is the classroom that the students start with their school day and usually finish there as well. It is a tradition that we have decided to use as to uh, have a smoother transition from primary. There's a lot of freedom and we can talk about any topic and we can we are free to talk about religion, culture, we can talk in every language and yeah, I think that's really cool. The personal project is a culminating task at the last year of the MYP program where the students are expected to show everything they have learned so far. They choose for a project, it is their own choice. They have to follow a process defined by the IB. I decided to do for my personal project uh, writing a song to learn new techniques because music is a big part of my life and I would like to improve that, that part. It should be fun and uh, learning at the same time. I've learned my origins because I didn't knew that my family was into music, but now I've learned that a lot of members of my family actually learn music. So yeah, that was really cool. What I like about all the teachers is that they are really respectful and also they are really confident and you can trust them, you can talk with them, uh, you can ask whatever you want and it's almost like a private class, it's not really like at school. I'm a chemistry and general science teacher here. For me, inquiry learning means that they see science as uh, it's an active way of them testing and, and legitimizing their own ideas. So after we cover the theory, they'll come up with hypotheses and ideas, and then they have to plan how to test those ideas, obviously with my guidance to keep it rigorous and, and, and make it all valid. This class, there's a variety of people from all different, different backgrounds and different approaches. Um, and so you don't get stuck in the same rut. You know, people will be doing things in, in different ways and often it'll show me ways that I hadn't thought of doing things. I'm a teacher librarian at the ACE. Here there are a couple of different resources, of course physical books, but we have also a lot of research databases and that students can learn how to use them here. We welcome uh, all parents that would like to volunteer here and uh, so here at this location uh, we are very glad to uh, welcome Aisha, who reads a story uh, so twice a week uh, she reads to the students. I'm the team captain of the after-school care uh, that's located inside ACE and it's called Oostside. At the after-school care we're really focusing on discovery and playing outdoors and on movement. Uh, we try to uh, help the children with their own development on many different levels. For example, it's really nice weather today, uh, so we're really playing outdoors with water, uh, but we're also making some slides down the stairs inside school. Uh, so we're really a part of the school, uh, and that makes it more fun and more uh, helpful to do that kind of activities. Most of the time we try to speak Dutch, but if the kids don't understand or if it, with the emotional safety, then we uh, translate it into English or maybe even uh, a different language. Because it's really important for the parents uh, and for us that the kids try to get into the Dutch culture and a language is one of, one of the important things.
What I like the most about my job is the, yeah, the international spirit. There's many different cultures here. I love the colleagues, I love the kids, um, I love the freedom that the curriculum allows for the kids and the teachers. It's always fun to be around children, there's always something going on. We have the student in the center of our daily routine, the needs of the student. Building relationships with them and just trying to make them into future leaders. It is a fantastic program and I love interaction with the kids, it gives me energy. So far everybody is very happy here. It's awesome uh, <laughs> because you make people read basically, so it's very, very nice, I think. Thank you for visiting ACE and we would like to welcome you again when you are in Amsterdam. <laughs>